Well, thanks for, so much for joining us as uh, as we continue these devotions on living hope. Today, we're going to look at 1 Peter 1, 17. Before we do that, just want to thank you for listening or watching or reading. And I want to thank you uh, for sharing these with others. We get a lot of people who share these uh, devotions with family members and friends. And I just want to tell you how much we really appreciate that. All right. So the word permanence, think of the word permanence, is not a word that describes our time on earth, is it? We're reminded often in scripture that we are here for a temporary stay. Here's how Peter describes it in 1 Peter 1.17. And if you call on him as father who judges impartially according to each one's deed, constructs Conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. Or the NIV says, the time you live as a stranger on earth. Three, three quick takeaways from this passage. First of all, this passage, passage reminds us that God is the judge. Jesus tells, tells us that every man will give an account before God. Matthew 12, 26. Paul says that each of us will give an account of himself to God. Romans 14, 12. And he also says that believers will stand before the judgment seat of Christ to receive what is due us, 1 Corinthians 5, 10. The writer of the Hebrews reminds us that, quote, everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account, Hebrews 4, 13. And Peter reminds us in today's passage that God judges all deeds. Think about that as you go through your day. God judges all of our deeds. The second takeaway from this passage is we are to live in, in reverence before God. God calls us to an intimate relationship with him. Um, we, we, in that intimate relationship, we should have an appropriate dread of sinning against him. He's the holy God. And then the third takeaway, we are to live as exiles. The, again, the NIV says that we're to live as strangers in the world. There's a, a commentator, his name is J.N.D. Kelly, three initials, J.N.D. Kelly, and he translates this verse in his commentary. I love the way he translates the verse. Here, here's what he says, and, and since you invoke as father one who judges impartially in the light of what each has done, conduct yourselves with fear for the duration of your temporary stay. Conduct yourselves with fear for the duration of your temporary stay. We can never forget that truth. Our stay here is temporary, and every day is one day closer to the day when it'll be time to pack up and head home. Are you ready for that day? Father, remind us, that our stay on earth is temporary. Help us never to think that what we do here has, has permanence. And, 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 and may that um, aspect, that truth of our stay being temporary, may that then cause us to live as exiles, as strangers in the world, not to grasp the things of the world, but to invest always in things that will last through eternity. Oh, Lord, help us again to realize of this, uh, this temporary stay that we're in. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.